Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a lot of things you can do with the modeling view in Power BI Desktop. Stay tuned. Okay, the data modeling view. It's a great, we had the original view, right? It didn't give us a lot of flexibility. We got to create relationships and manage relationships and look at relationships and things like that. But in this new modeling view, I can do so much more. And what brought this video on was I was chatting with someone, they were like, Patrick, I need to set, you know, I think need, need to perform bulk operations on like setting default summarization or hiding columns or, you know, creating display folders and stuff like that. And they were like, I'm tired of right clicking one, right clicking one, right? Hide one, hide, 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 hide. Set the default summarization one at a time. I wanna do this stuff in bulk. Right. And so I said, well, you know, the new modeling view has those capabilities. And I showed him, I was like, I should do a video on this. So you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop. Okay. So let's look at this model. There's lots of tables here. And if I expand out the dimension date, for example, you can see that the default summarization is set for several of these columns. And originally, when Power BI was originally released, the only way to um, change the default summarization was to click one column then go to the modeling view and then set the default summarization to do not don't summarize. You have to do that for each individual column. And you guys know how we like to do it at Guy in the Cube. We're not lazy, we're just really efficient. And so that's not efficient, one at a time, one at a time. So how do you solve it? Well, with the new modeling view, I go to the modeling view, I expand my table and I click one column that I want to change the default summarization on. Then I hold down control and I choose all the columns where I want to change the default summarization. So calendar year, date number, fiscal, you know, fiscal year, fiscal month number, just, just a few. And you remember back in the report view that they had the little sigma symbol, the summarization symbol to the left of the column name. But now watch this, I'm scroll down in the advanced section, change summarize by to none. And then if I go back over to the report view, you can see that the summarization is going for most of those columns. I still have a few that I didn't set um, the default summarization to none, but you can do this in bulk. You can do bulk, bulk operations, boy. You can do bulk operations against your columns instead of doing it one at a time. So slow, all right? What about hiding columns, right? So I need to keep a lot of these columns in my table for key columns for relationships, and I need them to do measures and things like that. But I don't really need to see them in my field list. And so I wanna hide those columns. How do I do those in bulk? Well, again, you know, um, if I go, let's take example, the employee table. I don't want the key. I don't want if it's, it's salespersons or lineage key or valid, you know, those columns. I wanna hide those columns and before, you do it one at a time, right? Right click, hide, right click, hide, right click, hide. Not very efficient. But with the new modeling view, if I go to the new modeling view, expand out my employee table and I employee key, hold down control, lineage, valid from, valid, valid from, valid to, WWI employee ID, and just turn on is his is hidden. Toggle it from off to on. And now, if I go back to my report view, those columns are completely hidden. What? So one column at a time, that's old school now. Doing bulk operations against these columns, you can do so much more. And if we toggle back over to this uh, view, you can see there's so many other things we can do, right? You can set formatting, you can sort by columns, your default categories, you can do lots of things to these columns in bulk. And so I mean, that solved the problem. There's one more thing. There's one more thing I want to show you about this new default view, because if you look at this model, this model, it's kind of chaos. I got lots of facts. I got lots of dimensions. And I like to create my own little, I like to create my own little categories of these, co of these fields within these tables. Okay. And so you can easily do this by, let's go back to my dim date, my dimension date column. Right. And let's say I want to group my all my years into one display folder, right? One little folder within that table. So all I need to do is choose calendar year, calendar label and fiscal year. And then I can set my display folder to year. And you see it places all those in year just like that by just hitting control, selecting every column that I want. And then I, it puts them into a nice little folder. If I toggle back over to my Report view, you can see if I expand out dim date, dimension date, you can see there's my year folder and those are there. 
if I forgot a column, like I did, I forgot the fiscal year, I don't need to like click here and type that folder name in. All I need to do is drag it down on top of that display folder and I can drop it right into that display folder without typing anything, without doing anything. It just works so much flexibility, so many capabilities in this new model and view. So the last thing I wanna show you, I wanna organize, I wanna get different views of these relationships, right, of my model, because like I said before, this model is kind of chaos. There's lots of tables, there's lots of facts, there's lots of dimensions. Maybe I wanna have a view of a given fact with all its related tables. So let me show you how you do it, right? So if I click the plus symbol, I wanna have one just for my sales table right my fact sale so go find my fact sale drag it on to the design surface there's that table and you probably think i gotta drag each table one at a time no 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 right remember i'm efficient if you just right click a little uh, dialog window will pop open says add related tables bam there's all the related tables with the corresponding relationships now i just have a, a view of my fact table with all the related dimension tables this is bananas right so i want to do one more just just one more because i want to show out a little bit so for purchase right same view drag my fact purchase table right click anywhere and choose add related bam there's my related tables this is great Right, I love it. So a great, great feature, the new modeling view, the old relationship view was good, but this one is phenomenal. So what do you guys think? Have you been using this view? You got any questions, comments about it? You know what to do, post it in the comments below. This is your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.